Hello, teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema dahil welcome ang lahat dito para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at Sir Service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pamumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Happy Itulay Monday afternoon, senior high school students who are watching right now who are taking up General Chemistry 2. This is again Tutor Anne who will assist you in learning the lesson for quarter four, week three. If you want to watch again our previous online tutorial, so week one and our week two of quarter four, you may revisit the Facebook page of DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Philippines, and DepEd Tayo, and also sa YouTube channel ng DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd TV. Just type in General Chemistry 2, E to lie, and then uh, anong week ang gusto niyong panoorin, and then you will be led to the video online tutorial. So for uh, this week, uh, how to have a positive mindset, lagi naman at lagi tayo nagkakaroon ng sharing, how to have a positive mindset, this is what I will share to you. So if there are negativities around us, um, all, uh, there is a powerful way to fight negativity and that is to pray. So in praying, it does not change immediately our situation, but it will definitely change uh, abruptly how we feel and how we see things. So, syempre, pag nagdasal na tayo, naiiba ang ating perspektibo sa ang ating mga pananaw. So, medyo naiiba yung nararamdaman natin. So, hindi tayo magiging padalos-dalos sa ating mga desisyon. So, this uh, advice is for adult and for yung mga young students din natin na nakikinig ngayon. So, I would like to see who are the students that are on board na. 
So we have again Joshua, uh, Joshua Jester by nakakatuwa dahil um, nadadagdagan tayo tapos yung mga students na umaattend dito ay very consistent hindi lang na from Las Piñas ako tapos from Las Piñas din yung mga students maraming consistent from Tabuk and from other places na weekly nakikisama sa atin sa ating pag-aaral so let me just read some of the Okay, so yung mga names na nandito, si Nadayan, Gina Cell, ayan, very consistent. Sige, itag nyo lang po sila para magsimula na, uh, pag nagsimula tayo, nandito na sila. So we have Trisha, Des, uh, Cyrus, uh, Jane Balangge, Sonny Sanadan, ayan, hello, hi, uh, nag-participate uh, din to last time. I Eden, Marita, Loza, yes. Uh, uh, Haifa, John Bry, Cindy, Ednaline, Haifa, Jason, hello Jason, from Las Piñas National High School. Haifa, Cosain, Lawrence, Timtiman, Marife, Molina, Joshua, Sumiog, Ednaline, Marife, Jester, Roxanne, sige, continue tagging them para makapag, uh, maka-attend din sila. Okay, so the most essential learning competency that we're going to discuss this afternoon uh, will be the discuss the acid-base property of water. It has a code stem, GC11AB, um, quarter four, week uh, F to G, objective number 154. And also define Bronsted acids and bases, which has a code stem, GC11AB, AB acid base, Quarter 4, week F to G, objective number 153. Okay, so ayan, habang nagtatag kayo, uh, you prepare yourself. We are going to answer an activity from the word wall. So um, pwede ka naman ito pasagutan sa inyo, pero um, let us answer it all together dito. You are going to type in your answer. So I will just present. So this will assess your learning about uh, uh, yung mga yung inyong uh, idea about acids and bases around us if you are familiar and I know you are very familiar because you have encountered a lot of acids and bases in your everyday living and also sa inyong pag-aaral sa junior high school ay eh, na-encounter niyo na nitong acids and bases. So ayan bago tayo magsimula, sige continue tagging them. So what you're gonna do to answer this activity is you will just type in number one. Kung, uh, if uh, if the, uh, uh, the for the first question number one and then your answer and then if you want to indicate your place or or your school para ma mention sige you may do so para ma, ma mention then at ma recognize then ang mga paaralan na nagpa participate sa ating itulay online tutorial. So we have the, for the first question. Okay, shout out po kay Bayani Marquez from CAA National High School, Maine and tutor sa ating eyes. Okay, for the first question, it is called muriatic acid in industry and is used to remove rust and paint from metals and concrete. Okay, may sagot na kagad si Alan Palais. Wala namang A. Niloloko mo ko Alan ha. Pipili ka ng chemical compound. Okay. So we pili ka ng chemical compound that is about it is uh, it is called muriatic acid in industry and is used to remove rust and paint from metals and concrete. Okay, what uh, chemical substance is also called muriatic acid? Sige nga. Okay, I'm, I will check your the comment section. Okay, so Yanni Marquez, gusto mo bang magsagot? Joshua Vallejo, ang sabi ni Joshua Vallejo, HCl daw. Sige, let us uh, wait. Sabi ni Lawrence, HCL, number one. You may also indicate the name of your school ha, for you to, uh, for you to, uh, for us to mention your school. Okay, from, watching from Bicol, Connie. Sabi ni Mayan, I know, si Norhana, HCL, Yasmin, Ella Tapis, uh, Norhana, Haifa, Queenie, Yanni Marquez, galing talaga ni Sir Yanni. Tapos si Mayan, okay, sabi ni Jester, sabi ni Roxanne, Ni Jane from Tabuk City. Oh, diba? Very consistent. Yes, I, your name is very familiar. Jane Balangge. We have Gladys, Diane Lu, Jester Bai from 
Tabuk City National High School. Dapat ang Tabuk City National High School, uh, ano natin yan eh, itag natin yan sa ating itulay online tutorial dahil very consistent ang kanila mga estudyante. And of course, from Las Piñas National High School, Senior High School din. So we have Clement, ni, uh, ni Zaybel, Kayla, Junior, Sony Sanadan Jr., uh, HCL from Tabuk City National High School, Princess Jeril. Okay, so let us check if your answer is correct. Sabi din ni Cindy, HCL. Okay. May sounds naman sa inyo, ano? Okay, number two. Okay, the acid and vinegar. So, I'm sure we are all familiar with the acid and vinegar. Okay? What is the answer? The acid and vinegar. Number two, the acid and vinegar. Okay, may humabal pa Marif, Marife Molina. Ni Cyrus Gakayan. Okay, for number two, the acid and vinegar. What is the chemical compound? of acid in vinegar. Okay, let us wait for our students to type in their answer. Baka medyo mahaba. Ano? Baka mahirap i-type. Oh, clue na yun. Okay, let us wait. Uh, sabi ni Haifa, si H3COOH, ni Lawrence, ganun din. Ni Jester, ni Queenie, ni Ella, ni Sabina, ni John Bryce, Jester, Queenie, Yasmin Maraya from LP Maine, Ni Franco Gakuya from Tabuk City National High School. Ni Shania, ni Andrea, ni Eliza Kirsten, ni Connie, ni Jester, ni uh, Gladil, ni Jane Balange, ni Nodi. Okay, ni Rochelle, ni May Ann, ni Princess, ni Marife, ni Annalisa. Okay, sabi nila si H3COH, ni Ruth Lynn. Okay, let us check. Ni Alan pala is h 3 coh Okay. Okay, your answer is correct. Sabi ni Sir Yanni Marquez, same. Okay. Puta ka, Sir Yanni. <laughs> okay. Next, number three. It is used in soap manufacture, uh, in soap manufacture and paper production. Same din, Sir Yanni, ba? <laughs> okay, sab, ano kaya ang sagot natin? It is used in soap manufacture and paper production. What is the chemical substance used in soap manufacture and paper production? Sabi ni John Bryce, number one, una sumagot siya, NAOH. Okay. Anli John Bryce. Jezebel Oyando. Ay, hindi yung kanina yung answer niya sa number two. Ngayon lang pumasok. Okay, so sabi sa number three, ang sagot ni John Bryce, ni Angeline, ni Nodi, ay, at saka ni Dayan, NAOH. So let us check if your answer is correct. Sabi din ni Jinir, ni Rob, ni Andrea, ni Eden, ni Happy, ni Nulong. Very consistent na attend din ang ating itulay tutorial. Ni Ferdinand, ni, Ju, uh, yan, ni Madame na Precious, Rochelle Ann, Gina Cell, Nelly, Ruthlyn, Alan, Rochelle, Gina Cell, Chris, Jester, Yasmin, Cyrus, Ruthlyn. Okay, the answer is N-A-O-H. So that is... Uh, what we use for soap man, to manufacture soap. Number four, it's very obvious. It is ammonia dissolved in water. Okay? Ammonia dissolved in water. Dalawa na lang yung pagpipilian nyo. Type in your answer for number four. Ammonia dissolved in water. Siyempre yung number five, yung matitira yun yung number five. Okay, for number four, it is ammonia dissolved in water. Sabi ni Sir Yanni Marquez, NH4OH, ang galing talaga ni Sir. Um, yan ang ating kumlode. Charot. We have Lara, Lara Sadagan, Haifa, Lawrence, Kiara May, Yasmin, Ella May, Dry Dre, Andrea May, and Joshua, Robert, Nodi, Jason, Nohana, Eden, Konyap, Kun Alisto, Princess Joy, Gladiel, uh, Eliza, Kirsten, Clement, Ulalim, Ruthlyn Simeon, uh, Jester by, uh, Jeryl Lapadik. Okay, ayan, consistent na attend natin sa itulay. So the answer is NH4OH. Very good, you're correct. Sabi din ni Dayan at saka ni Alan Palaris. And ni Junimi Gamongan. And of course, the number five, and ni Ed, Ednalin and Marife. Sa so number five, of course, it's H2SO4. Sa so acid found in automobile, batteries. Ayan, magalit ni number five. Acid found in automobile batteries is in H2SO4. Okay, let us go back to our presentation.
Okay, so our topic for today, so uh, um, bago ako magsimula pala, hello po sa mga tabok, uh, at mga estudyante sa Tabuk City National High School, sa Las Piñas National High School, at sa mga estudyante from other schools. Uh, pakisabi sa mga teachers nyo, congratulations kasi mayroon siya mga estudyante um, may sariling palo sa pag-aaral and umaattend ng mga online tutorial kahit hindi naman kayo required. You are still attending for you to equip yourselves. Uh, in this time of pandemic, nag-aaral kay Miigi. Okay, to start our lesson, so we have bronsted lorry Theory. Itong bronsted lorry Theory, this was proposed by two uh, scientists, Bronsted and Lori, yung kanilang surname. Uh, it states that the strength of an acid is measured by its tendency to donate protons, while the strength of a base is measured by its tendency to accept protons. So dito, um, na may measure daw yung uh, acidity niya, strength of its acidity, uh, about, uh, uh, it can measure the strength of its acidity base sa kanyang capability to donate protons and uh, the other one to accept protons. bronsted lorry acid base reaction is any reaction in which a proton is transferred from an acid to base. So, natatransfer yung acid na meron sa ating reactant, natatransfer niya to a base. The bronsted lorry theory describes acid-base interactions in terms of proton transfer between chemical species. So, inuulit-ulit ko, proton transfer. That proton transfer is H-positive. So, yung H-positive, itinatransfer natin sa isang substance uh, to change its property. Okay, water is amphoteric. Okay, pag sinabi nating amphoteric, it can act as both a bronsted lorry acid and a bronsted lorry base. Si tubig daw ay pwedeng bronsted lorry acid siya, pwede rin siyang bronsted lorry base. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Okay, uh, this is an example para magkaroon kayo ng idea bakit ba si water is amph amphoteric. Okay, you will see that in this equation, si water, when it reacts with ammonia, it forms ammonium ion and hydroxide ion. Okay, listen carefully, students. Again, water, when water reacts with ammonia, it forms ammonium ion and hydroxide ion. In this case, uh, makikita nyo, uh, si H2O, this one, H2O becomes OH nabawasan siya ng isang hydrogen. Ibig sabihin, this uh, water donates a proton. Okay? Nag-donate siya ng proton. In in this equation, si water ay nag-donate, so considered siya na bronsted lorry acid. Okay? In this example naman, water as bronsted lorry base, you will see that uh, from H2O, naging H3O siya. H3O positive, naging hydronium ion siya. So from H2O, naging H3O positive, naging hydronium ion, it accepted. So nagkaroon siya, it has the ability to accept. This H2O has the ability to accept proton, kaya naging H3O positive siya or hydronium ion. So that leads us, uh, uh, yung water na yan is a bronsted lorry base. So para mas maintindihan natin bakit paano ba yung nagdo-donate, paano ba yung nag-accept, sino yung, sino yung nagdo-donate and sino yung nag-accept, which substance donates and which substance accepts a uh, proton. That leads us to our definition of bronsted lorry acid. Okay, a bronsted lorry acid is any species that is capable of donating a proton or yung tinatawag na H positive. Kapag nag-donate ng proton, that is bronsted lorry acid. And then, a bronsted lorry base is any species that is capable of accepting. Sa reactant pa lang, makikita nyo, ah, this, this one ay pwede siyang mag-donate. Kapag nag-donate siya, makikita nyo sa product side, nag-donate ba siya or hindi. Kapag nakita nyo na nag-donate, that one is the bronsted lorry acid, nag-donate. And then if the species on the reactant side is capable of accepting a proton, which requires a lone pair, makikita nyo pa na may lone pair pa siya, that makes that substance able to accept 
a proton. For example, consider the reaction of ammonia gas with hydrogen chloride gas to form solid ammonium chloride. So this is the equation. We have the ammonia gas with hydrogen, uh, hydrogen chloride gas to form solid ammonium chloride. So you will see that in HCl, si NH3 meron siyang lone pair. Si ba nakalagi dito? Uh, uh, which requires a lone pair of electrons to bond to the H. Dahil meron siyang lone pair, this is capable of accepting proton. So, si, si HCl naman, this is capable of donating proton. Ang proton natin ay H positive. Si HCl ay uh, capable of donating proton H. And then this NH3 is capable of accepting proton, lalo na't meron siyang lone pair. So, alam natin na si HCl, yan ang magdodonate. Therefore, that is our Bronsted lori acid. Kasi siya ang magdodonate. And then this one, this is capable of accepting a proton which requires a lone pair. Ito po may lone pair siya. Okay, so this is our Bronsted lori base. Okay. Uh, manipis yung, hindi ko pa na change yung aking pen. So, that is the definition of bronsted lori acid and bronsted lori base. So, you may screenshot this. You may write your, yung, pwede kayo mag-mimonics. Palatandaan ko dyan para hindi ako nalilito. Kasi, yung mga ganitong topic nakakalito, so, lalagyan nyo ng mnemonics. B-A-D. O yan, bad. B-A-D. Ang bronsted lori acid ay nagdo-donate ng proton. Ang bronsted lori base, BBA. Baba. Okay? BBA. Baba. Bronsted lori base, nag accept Base nag accept Acid nagdo-donate. Okay? So, bad then, and then baba. So, that is just a strategy para matandaan natin kung uh, na acid ba siya or bronsted lori acid ba siya or bronsted lori base. Okay. The conjugate base of a bronsted lori acid, ito naman conjugate. Pag sinabi natin conjugate, this is related to the first one. Okay. So, sa mag-asawa, di ba? Sa conjugal. So, the conjugate base of a bronsted lori acid. So, yung uh, conjugate base ng bronsted lori acid is the species formed after an acid donates a proton. Okay, again, conjugate base of a bronsted lori acid is the species formed after an acid donates a proton. While the conjugate acid of a bronsted lori base is the species formed after a base accepts a proton. So yung after ni bronsted lori acid mag-donate, yun ang kanya magiging, yung uh, species after niya mag-donate, yun ang kanyang conjugate base. And then yung conjugate acid, after niya mag-accept ng proton. Okay, magbigay tayo yung example para, kasi pag definition lang, kailang, uh, medyo nakakalito. So, we'll give example. But, the two species in a conjugate acid-base pair have the same molecular formula except the acid has an extra H positive compared to the conjugate base. Example, so we have nitric acid, aqueous nitric acid. Okay, students, listen. Okay, mamaya kayo pa magsasagot ng equation natin. Nitric acid reacts with water to form hydronium ion and nitrate in aqueous solution. Okay, so nitric acid reacts with water to form hydronium ion and nitric, uh, nitrate. So let us identify ang ating... Uh, Bronsted lori acid. Sabi natin, pag bronsted lori acid, nagdo-donate ng proton. Alin kaya sa dalawang reactant na ito ang magdo-donate? If you're going to look at the two reactants, pareha silang may hydrogen. So, pwedeng pareha. Tapos si water pa ang photeric. Si water pwedeng mag-accept ng uh, proton, pwede rin siya mag-donate. Pero malalaman natin yung bronsted lori acid based on the product. So, makikita natin si HNO3 at saka ay naging NO3. So, definitely, more likely, nag-donate siya ng proton. Dahil nag-donate siya ng proton, this is, ano, ang, uh, 
This is an acid that donates proton. What is the acid that donates proton? So that is our HNO3, sabi ni Eliza Kirsten. So our Bronsted Lori acid will be the HNO3 kasi nag-donate siya ng proton. From HNO3, naging NO3 siya. Sabi natin, ang definition ng Bronsted Lori acid is the substance that is capable of donating. This substance, HNO3, is capable of donating. And then, ang kanyang conjugate uh, base ay ang NO3. Bakit NO3? Ang ibig sabihin ng ating NO3 ay, this is the substance formed after it, uh, it has donated the proton. So, na-donate na ni HNO3 kay water, kaya naging NO3 na lang siya. Kaya siya ang ating conjugate base. Okay. And then, ang definition naman natin ng bronsted lori base is, Substance that is capable of accepting. Eh, amphoteric nga si water. Pwede siyang mag-accept, pwede siyang mag-donate. So, our Bronsted Lori base ay... Sige, uh, sige try nga. Uh, mabilis uh, si Jester, kaya mag mag uh, sumagot kaya si Jester. Ang ating Bronsted Lori base ay... May recitation. Sige, pag, uh, sagot kaya si Jester. Okay, so, ulitin ko lang. Ang definition ng bronsted lori base ay substance that is capable of accepting. So, it is obvious that the substance that is capable of accepting is water. Okay, water yung ating bronsted lori base. Yes, uh, tama si Ella. Si yung kay Norhana, yun yung ating conjugate acid. Okay? Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng conjugate acid is substance formed after it accepted the proton. So ang ating bronsted lori base, ayan, ang dami na nag-react, sabi ni Jefferson, Queenie, Haifa, Jane, Ella, uh, H2O is our bronsted lori base. Ganon din si Jane and si Sasha, si Jan Ray. And ang ating conjugate acid is H3O or ammonium ion. So take a look at that. Sana nagsusulat din kayo para hindi tayo nalilito dahil magbibigay pa ako. I guess para may lima pa ako na examples na equation. Okay, for a number two equation, NH3 plus H2O will have a reversible reaction with NH4 and OH or hydroxide. What is our... Bronsted Lori Acid. Sige, hindi mo na ako mag, uh, magsasagot. What is our Bronsted Lori Acid? Alin dyan ang magbibigay ng, hydro, ng proton? So, marami nagsabi. Si H2O, sabi ni Ruthly, ni Daniel, ni Franco, ni Sheena, ni Cyrus, ni Nelly, Jester, Okay, ni Ferdinand, sabi nila, eh, ni Roxanne, ni Rob, no, D, Angela, Gian, Sonny, sabi niyo ay water. Let's see. Our bronze lori acid, yes, is water. Kasi kung titingnan nyo from, sa reactant side, si water naging OH. So, ibig sabihin, nag-donate siya ng proton. So, the substance that is capable of donating is the bronsted lori acid. And definitely, our conjugate base ay, ano ang ating conjugate base? Okay, our conjugate base ay, section. Pati sa chat box, nagpukintuan kayo, Char. Okay. We have, yes, sabi ni Eliza, ni Ella, ni Norhana, ni Rose, OH daw ang conjugate base. So, sabi din ni Raven at ni Haifa. Therefore, the other reactant will be our bronsted lori base. This is the one that is capable of accepting proton galing kay water. And the conjugate acid of this is the NH4. From NH3, naging NH4 na siya. Nag-accept na siya ng proton galing kay water. Naintindihan niyo naman po yung sa equation. More likely kasi tama po ang inyong mga sagot. Sabi ni Floyd, Delma, 
Atok Cabanyag na from Tabuk City National High School. So ayun. So that is for equation number two. Let us now proceed for with equation number three. What is our... Ang tatanungin ko na lang lagi yung bronze and lauric acid kasi syempre the other one will be the base. Okay. In this example, HCl reacts with H2O liquid to form H3O positive and Cl negative. What is the bronze and lauric acid? Okay. Bronze and lauric acid is the substance that is capable of donating proton. Alin kaya diyan ang magdo-donate? Okay. CHCL ba or CH2O? Sabi ni Ella May Tapis from Las Piñas National High School, HCL. Sabi din ni Eliza Kirsten, ay HCL from Las Piñas National High School. Ni Yasmin Maraya also from Las Piñas National High School. Princess from Tabuk, National High, Tabuk City National High School. Franco, Angelo, Jane, and Roberto. Sabi niyo HCL. Let's check. Okay. Si HCL ang ating Bronsted Lori Acid. Definitely, ang kanyang conjugate base ay yung Cl, yung nabawasan na ng proton. And the bronsted lori base will be the water. So, lagay na natin yan. Bronsted lori base will be the water. And our conjugate acid of that is H3O. Tandaan, ang conjugate acid is the substance formed after it accepted proton. Okay, mamememorize nyo rin yan pag nagsagot na kayo ng maraming ganyan sa worksheets. Matatandaan nyo na yung bronsted lori acid, yung bronsted lori base definition. And again, tandaan nyo lang yung sa bronsted lori sa reactant side, yun yung capable of donating and capable of accepting. Sa conjugate naman, yun yung substance formed. Ibig sabihin na sa product side siya. Yung acid substance formed after it accepted proton, si, uh, si conjugate base naman, the substance formed after it donated proton. So, ayan. Let's have... So, check ko na yung mga nag, nasa comment. Pang-apat yata to? Okay, we have HF. What is our bronze lori acid in this equation? Okay, tingnan nyo nga ang ating equation. What is our... Bronsted lori acid, the one that is capable of donating proton. Sabi ni Norhana, mabilis siya, Norhana Lachica, HF. Sabi din ni John Bryce, HF. Okay, so hintay pa tayo ni Queenie. Feeling ko sila ay mga taga Tabuk City National High School. Mga magkakaklase din. We have Shania, Divine, Aika, Nodi, Lara, Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Ruthlyn, Robert Padsing, dati si Robert sa YouTube yan nanonood eh. So si Frances, si Gian, si Maria Ami Tumaman, Trisha, Ednalyn, Marife, Shaira, uh, Rob, Eddie, Tangonan, very familiar name, Queenie, Philip Lodana, hello Philip, Jezebel, Irene, Jefferson, Jan Ray Matamu, o oh, familiar name din. So the answer is HF. Our, our Bronsted Lori Acid is HF. Okay, so tama ang sagot nyo. So, syempre, ang kanyang conjugate base ay ang natanggalan ng H. So, that is the F. And then, ang kanyang bronsted lori base, yung capable of accepting proton, paulit-ulit si teacher, capable of accepting proton is bronze uh, H2O, and yung conjugate acid niya ay yung H2O. H2O, H3O, or the hydronium ion. So, the substance that is formed after it accepted the proton. Sabi din ni Eliza, ni John Bryce, conjugate acid. Okay, so thank you, John Bryce from Tabuk City. Okay, next, HCN plus H2PO4 has a reversible reaction with uh, CN negative and H3PO4. What is its bronsted lori acid? Sabi ni Jane Balangge, ay yung kanina pa yun, HF. Na late siguro yung dating sa comment. Sabi ni Eliza Kirsten, si HCN, ang Bronsted Lori Acid. Ganon din si John Bryce, si Queenie, HCB. May HCB ba dyan? Okay. We have, <laughs> sabi ni Maria Ami, ni Princess, ni Kiara, ano? 
Ang bilis na pumasok ni Princess, ni Ruth, ni Nodi, Aika, Rivin, J Jefferson, Kiara, ano, Kiara May, Annalisa, Payawal, Kuniap, Ferdinand, Jelay, Shania, Shaira, Nodi, ayan, Franco, Jerry, Hot Shirley, you know, familiar name, uh, Diane Lu, Nodi, Shaira, ayan, mention ka na. Eddie Tangonan, Ferdinand, Ruthlin, Eddie, Jester, Diane, Trisha, Irene, Clyde D, uh, Irene, Shaira, ayan. So ang sagot nyo ay HCN, ang ating Bronsted Lori acid, which is correct. And our conjugate base of that is yung nabawasan ng H, which is the CN lang. So that's the conjugate base. And the Bronsted Lori base is... The H2PO4 at, at ang kanyang conjugate acid, yung nadagdagan, the one that accepted the proton. So, conjugate acid. Okay, malap Okay, so malapit na mag-6. Ang bilis lang talaga ng oras. Next, we have HS negative plus OH to form S negative 2 plus H2O. So, what is our Bronsted lori acid? Let's see. Last na yata to bago ako magpa-quiz. Okay. Bronsted lori acid ng HS negative reacts with OH negative to, with a reversible reaction with S negative 2 and water. Sabi ni Lawrence Timtiman, HS negative. Ni Robert, ni Hatcherlin, ni, sabi ni Jester by OH? Question mark. Ni Floyd Delma, ni Yasmin, ni Philip, ni Sally, ni Sunshine, ni Ja. Ayan. Nodi, Analiza, Ang Angelo, Sheena, Diane Lu, Divine, Sistine Valenzuela, hello, Gladys, Eddie, Lara Sadagan, ayan, ni Princess, Joy, ni Irene, Joy, ni Charlie Main, ni Lara, and si Rose, Tabok City rin ba yun? Ni Ira, ni Edna Lynn. So the answer is, the bronze and lori is, of course, the HS. You are correct. Okay. Next is, sabi ni Irene, ni Antoinette, ni Maria Ami, ni Jeril, ni Junimi. Okay. Ni Roxanne. And this is our conjugate base, yung natanggalan ng H. Nag-accept, substance formed after it donated. And then the bronze and lori base is OH. And then, uh, that is the substance that is capable of accepting. And this is the conjugate acid na accept na niya. So, water na siya. Okay. Since it's already 5.55, we have 5 minutes left. I will be asking you to answer again this word wall. This time, key terms lang. Narinig niyo ko kanina na paulit-ulit ako sa definition. Kasi nakakalito naman talaga yung... I mean, pag ganyan, kailangan may mnemonics ka talaga. So, yung BAD, Bronsted Lori Acid, nagdo-donate. Si Bronsted Lori Base ay nag-a-accept. So, na, at tapos yung conjugate acid and conjugate base. So, here are the key terms that you have to remember. So, I put it in a quiz para makapagsagot kayo. Okay. Let us see. Ready your uh, keyboard? Okay, for our quiz. Okay, question number one. What is the substance that is capable of accepting proton? Again, substance. May sagot ka. Ayan, si Rob Siblagan, si sabi niya, A. Yan ba ay sagot mo talaga na? Final answer? Sabi, uh, may... Sabi ni Jinier Casiano, A, substance that accepts proton. Sabi ni Shaira, A, Sabina, A, Ian, Cyrus. Okay. Ni Queenie, oh. Sabi ni Queenie, ni Ella, nag-iba sila. Sagot nila, B. Sabi ni Rose, B din. So, hati, yan, may nagsasagot ng A, may nagsasagot ng B. So, sino kaya ang, ang pakikinggan ko? Sabi ni Lawrence Simtiman, B. Ni Jester, B. Dayan, A. Okay, ni Junie, A. Irene, A. Sabi ni Raven, B. Ibig sabihin, naglalaro lang sagot sa A and B. Sabi ni Raven, ni Jester. Okay, so lock in your answer. Charot. So the, what is the substance that is capable of accepting? Kami-mention ko lang kanina. Okay. 
Yan yung baba na, na ni Monix ko kanina. So, ang susundin ko ay, ayan, may mga, sa bandang dulo, marami nang nag B. So, the answer is B. Okay, so mga sa mga sabi ni Roxanne, ni Jezebel, ni John Ray, ni Nudy, ni Diane. So, yung iba, nag-change answer na ni Lara, si Karen, si Franco. Okay, for question number two. Sige, gamitin natin ang 50-50. Wala, para, gusto, para lang magamit natin. What is the substance formed after an acid donates proton? 50-50. Alisin ang dalawang mali. Char. Okay, what is the substance formed after an acid donates proton? Is it B or D? Sabi ni Rose, A, wala pong A, natanggal na. So, sa number two, wala pong A, natanggal na. Sabi ni John Bryce, D. O, oh, di pala. So, tingnan natin kung D. Sabi ni Angelo, D. Ni John Bryce, D. Ni Myra, o, oh, sabi ni Myra, A, wala na po yung A, natanggal na sa 50-50. Sabi ni Robert Padsing, haha, ay, di pala yun. Si Alaysa pala yun. Anong tawar mo? Ay? Sabi ni Franco, D. Ni John Ray, D. Robert, ni Shaira, So, ang dami na nag-answer ng D. Let us check. Ni Hani, ni Roxanne, ni Aika, ni Jester, Trisha, Diane, Gina Cell. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Your answer, letter D, is correct. Okay. Question number three. What is the substance that is capable of donating a proton? Okay, kung sure na kayo dito sa sagot nyo, sige, gusto kong i-times 2. Okay, pag nag-times 2, yung pag tumama kayo, times 2 ang score. What is the substance that is capable of donating a proton? Sabi 3A, Hatch, sabi ni Hatcherly, ni Cyrus, ni Ella, ni Antoinette, ni Sonny, Lawrence, Robert, Ruthlyn, Nodi, Franco, John Bryce, Gian, mukhang sure naman kayo, ni Raven, ni Roxanne, kaya tinimes to ko na. So, ni Sistine, ni Roxanne, ni Konyap, ni Shaira, Rob, Kirame, Gina Cell, kay The Answer, sabi ni Jester, ni Jeryl, ni Ja, ni Hani, ni Jinier. Okay, the answer is A, C. Okay, so that is correct. For number four, Okay, your score, 300 na. Baka pwedeng i-load natin to. O i-gcash. For uh, bonus round. Oh, anong piliin natin? Huwag lang to. Ito. Ito na lang. Ah. Ay, nakalimutan ko na. Okay, piliin na lang natin ito. Ayan, plus 200. Okay, for question number four. 600 na tayo. Paghahati-hatian na natin yan. What is the substance formed after a base accepts a proton? Okay. Ano, ito yung nasa product side na siya. Substance formed after a base accepts a proton. Is it... I'm sure hindi na yun sa bronze dead kasi nasa product side niya, di ba? So is it C or D? Okay. So sabi ni Rose, ni Jezebel, uh, ni Rose C... Ni Alisa C, si, Jester C, si, Shaira C, si, okay, Charlie Main. So mahalos lahat pa ng sasagot ngayon ay lahat C si ang sagot. Ni, ni Sistine, ni Ira, ni Hatcherlyn, Raven, Franco, Divine, Marife, Sony, Jeril, Ira, Happy, Sabina, Sha, um, Jester, Junie May, Jade, Junie May, Uh, Frances, Ian, uh, Ian, Diane, Lou, Riza, Lara, Je ayan, la, ayan, paulit ulit. La, pay, ulit ulit yung sanin na uh, nagme-message sila. Irene, Diane, Lara, Cla Gladys, Jelay, Queenie, Junimi, Riza, ayan. So the answer is letter C. Sabi ni Trisha, ni John Ray, ni Sunshine. Letter C. Okay. And for the last question, so meron tayong 700 pesos. Question number five. What do you call to a substance that can act as bronsted lorry acid and bronsted lorry base? 
So, yung substance na pwedeng mag-accept at pwedeng mag-donate, ang example nito ay tubig. Okay? Anong tawag doon? A, amphoteric, B, empirical, C, amplifier, D, amplitude. Sabi ni Gia, ni Queenie, ni Jeril, ni Alan, ni Rob, ni um, Sabina, Ella, Jeril, Nodi, Robert, Rob, Alan, Rob, Nodi, Lara, Divine, Jelai, Charlie Main, John Ray, Nodi, <clears throat> Charlie Main, Jeanier, Irene, Riza, Jeanier, John Ray, Clyde D, Kadatal, Hana, Junimi, Jester, Jester walang Q, Franco, A, Junimi, Jester, ayan, Junimi, Ruthlin. So the answer is letter A, correct. Amphoteric. So we have Franco and Freudelina and China. Okay. So meron tayong 800. Sana pwedeng gawing good. Ano? So that is our lesson for week 3, quarter 4. So, balik ko lang sa aking ilustrasyon. So I hope may natutunan po kayo this afternoon. Pero bago ko po i-close tong ating online video tutorial, I would just like to greet my mother. Happy birthday in heaven, Nanay Jean Perelio uh, Mancilia. So, um, shinoutout ko lang nationwide ito. So, uh, take advantage lang tayo. So, hello, John Bryce. Send Gcash, Robert C. Blagan. Kung pwede nga, ano, yung 800. Pagkatiyatian natin mga nagsagot. So, ayan. Thank you sa inyong pag-attend sa ating Itulay online tutorial. See you, see you again next week for our week 4 of quarter 4 in general chemistry 2. Malapit na at magba, magbabakasyon na and then mag-grade 12 na kayo. So, I know you're very excited na matapos ang ating unang taon ng distance learning and I'm sure maraming marami tayong natutunan sa kabila ng pandemya. So, bago ko i-close, Hello kay Divine, kay Ian, kay Cindy, kay Irene. Thank you din sa inyo, sa inyong pag-attend. Trisha, Yasmin, Christy, Irene, and Lara sa Dagan, Myra, Frances. Uh, Pa-shoutout po ma'am kay Prince Habok. Nakikinig po kahit di online. Oh, tala. So ayan, nakikinig kahit hindi online. So Myra, kay Franco, kay Dayan, kay Nodi. So kahit malayo tayo, kahit nasa ibang lugar kayo, para tayong magkakakilala na din kasi weekly kayo from quarter 3 pa lang nandito na kayo matin. So I'm very, very happy. So again, magkita-kita tayo muli next week for our week 4, quarter 4. Every Monday po tayo mag-online tutorial, 5.20 to 6 o'clock. Uh, God bless us all, to God be the glory. Sigurado ako na marami Sigurado ka na namang na natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkakuto sa kabila ng naranasan ng pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga, Hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan siya bukas mula alakuna ng tanghali ang iba pang arali sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa English. I-like and subscribe at manasiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd at Tech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media account. Paalam! Paalam! Paalam!